fires in our area recently left the outside air quality at hazardous levels and the inside of our house smell like smoke. I went to the local hardware store to try to find an air purifier or air filter and the shelves were completely empty. So I used what parts I could find to build this DIY air purifier out of a bucket and a few other parts that were affordable and it was really easy to build with minimal tools. It worked well for us so I thought I'd share. What you'll need for this build is a 5 gallon bucket, 5 gallon bucket lid, an air ventilation fan for a bathroom, an upright HEPA vacuum filter bag, a cheapo extension cable, a utility knife, two of these larger size rubber bands and you'll just double those up, and then a good pair of sharp scissors will help make this a lot easier. Optional is this two and a half inch hole cutting drill bit and a two inch hole cutting drill bit attached to a drill. I used those and it made this project a lot easier for me, but the utility knife will do if you don't have that. Go ahead and open up the air ventilation fan and remove the instructions, you don't need those, and put the ventilation cover on the side, you don't need that for now. Don't plug this cord into the box itself, like you'll see there's an outlet there, just resist the urge instead. Um, on the side that has the air outlet, you're gonna see a tab on the side of the box. Go ahead and bend that over, just be careful not to cut yourself because it is sharp. Take the power cord for the ventilation fan and plug it into your extension cord and then run the extension cord out the side of the box where you bent over that tab. Next, you'll go ahead and take your HEPA vacuum filter bag and remove this cardboard piece. Uh, it's just hot glued on there so it's easy to remove. And then the next thing you're gonna do is take your scissors and cut the part that has glue on it still as close to the edge as you can and keeping that as circular as possible. And then go ahead and take your doubled up rubber bands and put them over the air outlet on the ventilation fan and to attach the bag you're just gonna uh, push the uh, bag right under the rubber band securing it all the way around it doesn't have to be perfect or airtight just has to be securely attached next you're gonna put your vent cover on and just make sure that the springy metal piece there goes in those slots and that the power cord is in between that springy piece and the inner wall of the box and make sure you run the extension cord through that tab that we bent down. You don't want to pinch the cord between the cover and the box edge as the box edge is sharp. Get everything out of the way and push that cover all the way down. Next, you're going to cut a hole in the front of the bucket um, right about here. And it doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but the more centered it is, the nicer um, the final outcome will look aesthetically. You can use a utility knife for this. Like I said, um, but I chose to use the two and a half inch hole cutting drill bit as it made things a lot easier and quick for me. Next on the back side of the bucket, I use this two inch and I cut three holes um, and I just eyeballed them on the back upper side of the bucket. This is where the air will go out. Make sure you vacuum it up really good. You don't want to be blowing any pieces of plastic up in the air when you turn this thing on. And if you don't want to upset your significant other, you probably want to vacuum off your couch ottoman um, before they come home. Next on the bottom back side of the bucket, you want to cut a hole uh, for the power cord to escape the bucket so you can plug this thing in. You can use a utility knife like I did or a hole cutting bit for this as well. I went with the utility knife just so I could show you. you can cut the bucket. Just make sure to hold it really tight and secure and be careful not to cut your hand. You'll notice on the what's going to be the bottom side of the ventilation fan for us, there's this tab, a mounting tab. You can bend this over, cut it off, or what I found to be the easiest solution to keep this flush is just use some pieces of scrap wood or a 2 by 4 or something. You can just set those down in the bottom of the bucket and then set the fan down inside on top of that with that tab um, off to the side and the fan will sit flush on the bottom at that point and it won't rock around or fall over. Just be careful when putting everything in, you don't rip anything off. Tuck what's left of the vacuum bag uh, down inside and then you wanna go ahead and take the cord, run it around to the back, find that hole that we cut for it on the bottom, uh, back side and go ahead and pull the cord through. You're gonna plug it in and test out to make sure that the bag inflates and the ventilation fan turns on, and you are done. All you have to do now is throw on the bucket lid, put this wherever you want to in your room, turn it on, and let it go to work. 
Um, it did a great job, like I said, of getting rid of the smoke smell in our house. And when I looked inside the bag afterwards, there was lots of dust inside. This is what it uh, sounds like from about six inches away. And this is what it sounds like from about 10 feet away. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Good luck with your build. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below with any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, I'll have the whole entire parts list in the description. Good luck with your build and take care.